Let's uh, look at uh, the unsteady state mass transfer. And this is uh, where uh, uh, there is an influence of time on uh, mass transfer. The uh, partial differential equation uh, that describes unsteady state mass transfer is uh, partial C over partial T equals D and in parentheses we have partial 2C over partial X square and end of parentheses where C is the concentration of the component uh, that is diffusing within a solid structure as a function of time. Now the analytical solutions of this partial differential equation are available uh, for different geometrical shapes. Uh, one, of a, one of the best references is uh, Mathematics of Diffusion by J. Crank. But also unsteady state mass transfer uh, can be expressed uh, using charts. Uh, and these uh, charts uh, present the concentration ratio uh, which is dimensionless versus a dimensionless uh, ratio for time which is d times t divided by dc square. Uh, these charts are available for uh, different standard geometries such as infinite plate, infinite cylinder, or a sphere. Uh, these charts are constructed with the concentration ratio in the y-axis where we have CMA minus CM divided by CI minus CM and in the x-axis with DT over DC square and we will find plots for uh, a sphere, uh, for infinite cylinder and for infinite slab. Uh, note that CMA is the mass average concentration at any time t. Uh, CM is the concentration of the diffusing component. And uh, CI is the initial concentration. Now the assumption uh, that is made here is that there is a negligible resistance to mass transfer at the surface of the object. Now we can, of course, look at a actual chart uh, that is shown here. Uh, so we have the concentration ratio on the y-axis, uh, which is on a log scale. And then we have the dimensionless ratio for time, dt over dc square. And we have the lines for infinite slab, infinite cylinder, and a sphere. So if uh, we know the time and we want to find concentration, for example, uh, we will substitute uh, the known values in the uh, uh, quantity for the uh, x-axis. Uh, let's say that we get a value of 0 0.4 and uh, we are, let's say, looking at a sphere. So we will follow this uh, line for 0 0.4, uh, see where it intersects with the line for sphere. And then we will move to the y-axis and read the value uh, from the y-axis. Again, noting that it is a log scale and uh, uh, we will obtain a value for the uh, dimensionless concentration ratio and from there the unknown concentration can be determined. Uh, so these charts are uh, quite useful and fairly easy to use uh, to determine either the concentration or the time needed to obtain a certain concentration. Again, we will look at some examples in different uh, tutorials.